sat down. Let's tune in. Bringing the hands into prayer at the heart, pushing the two palms together, balancing the two hemispheres of the brain, pushing the thumbs into the sternum, relaxing the vagus nerve. Close the eyes. Relax the shoulders, release the jaw. And as you breathe, check in with yourself. Noticing what's present. Physical sensations. Emotions passing through. The flow of thoughts and the quality of the mind. And as you breathe, inhale and make space for everything you find, everything you become aware of. And as you exhale, sink a little deeper into the mat. Inhaling, creating space, exhaling, sinking a little deeper into this moment. Let's tune in, deep inhale to chant. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Gurudev Namo Deep inhale, pause the breath, pull up the root lock. Feel sensations in the body, and when you need to exhale, exhale, release the hands down. And set an intention for yourself and your practice today. Breathe that in. And then as you exhale, let it go. Bow the head to the heart, surrendering the analytical, judgmental mind to the wisdom of the heart in our practice. Fluttering the eyes open. We're going to be practicing Nabi Kriya for Prana and Apana, so working with the core, our fiery powerhouse, the place of action. And we start. With the right leg forward, the left leg pulled in so that the foot is against the thigh and tipping forward from the hips, taking a hold and squeezing the bottom of the right big toe nail. And then we do a gentle breath of fire. long, chin tucked in, the back of the neck long, pushing against that toe, nearly there. Lovely deep inhale. Hold the breath, pull Mulabanda. And then as you exhale, release, gently come up. Stretching out the left leg, 
blow your nose if you need to. And then tipping forward from the hips. The back is long, back of the neck long, pressing into that toenail and gentle breath of fire. up on the toe, keep stretching through the spine, you're doing great. Long deep inhale, call for the band up. And exhale, release. Coming onto your back. The knees come into the chest and we're going to kick and hit the buttocks with a foot. We inhale as the leg comes up, exhale as it strikes down. legs down, soften the body, let the breath calm, return to its natural rhythm. And on an inhale, bring one knee up and then the other. We're going to piston the legs out straight, inhaling one side, exhaling the other. So just bend the knees and put the feet flat on the mat and push the navel point down so you can feel your core muscles begin to come on. Push the navel point down, you may find that the breath comes a little higher in the chest. Keep pushing down and we'll begin. Pushing the navel point down, strong breath.
Lovely. Inhale, both legs straight. Pause, hold, and relax down. Completely soften and relax the body. Let the body be heavy, sink down. Feel the sensations in the body. You may feel heat or fire in the body. Release any tension in the jaw. Soften the throat, relax the shoulders. Release the hips down. And then bringing one knee and then the other knee in. Just rock from side to side. Give the lower back a little massage. And you'll notice, depending on where you hold your knees as you rock, it'll depend which part of the back gets a massage. So you can just play with that. See what feels really good. And then taking a few rocks forwards and backwards along the spine, we come all the way up onto a high plank. So we're going to hold a high plank for a minute with a breath of fire. If this is too much, you can come down clasp the hands and come into a low plank. So whatever feels possible and good today. So coming up, pushing up through the arms, feeling your strength and begin. Chin tucked in, the back of the neck long, keep pushing up through the arms, pushing away with the heels. You're doing great. Push back into child's pose. Breathe deep, breathe into the back of the ribs. your next inhale, pushing up through the hands, supporting yourself as you come all the way up and swing the legs around. We're going to come onto the back for stretch pose. So the full posture is pushing down through the navel, lifting the head and the shoulders and the legs with a breath of fire. The palms are over the thighs. If this is too much, you can lift one leg and alternate, then the other leg. So we're going to hold this pose for a minute. So getting into your position, pushing down through the navel 
And when you're ready. The mantra for your core is I can. You can do this. Hold it. Feel your strength. Feel your fire. Keep going. You're doing great. Relax the breath. Relax any tension in the jaw. Relax the shoulders. Let the arms be heavy. Release the back and the hips down. Notice the sensations, the energy that you're generating. Allow the innate wisdom of the body to take that energy wherever it's needed. Through the core, we can energize and direct the energy, get into action and manifest, achieve results. In yoga, we align with our highest intention, working from infinite consciousness drawing it down, manifesting in it, it in this finite reality. And the core, the fire, is that point of transformation where we get into action and we make it happen, we make it a reality. Bringing the knees up, the feet flat on the floor. Take an inhale and as you exhale, drop the knees over to one side. Inhaling up to center, dropping the knees over to the other side. We're just working through the lower back, have a nice twist. If you want to bring the head and the neck in, looking in the opposite direction to the knees. And coming to center, bring the knees in. And let's rock forwards and backwards, coming up to a seated position. And we start with the hands outstretched and we're just going to open and close the hands. So opening up the meridians, breathing long and deep. Breathe into your core, release down into the earth. Feel that holding and support beneath you. Taking an inhale, we're gonna bring the hands into fists. And as we inhale, we're going to draw the fists in together as if we were pushing together the most incredible weight. So the arms are really clenched, really, 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 really clenched. And as they're about to meet, 
Exhale. Clench. Inhale. Pull the fists in. Feel the tension. Feel the tension. Inhale. Clench as hard as you can. And then stretching out the hands, we open and close the fists. Breathe long and deep. All of that fiery energy of the core, we're drawing up into the heart. That our actions may be aligned with our heart, our heart's longing, our highest purpose. Keep going, you're doing great. Deep inhale, stretch the arms, and as you exhale, bring the palms so they're very close together by the heart. Close the eyes and focus between the hands. Feel the energy. And know you have the power to direct energy in your life to manifest whatever you envisage. Directing that energy into action. Taking the steps you need to take to get results. Gently bring the hands together in prayer. Take a moment to give thanks. And bending forward, coming down to the earth. Breathe deep. And your next inhale, gently bringing yourself up and come all the way onto your back to relax. So make yourself comfortable, whatever you need, so you can really let go and allow yourself to soften and relax. You may find you want your knees bent to release the lower back. When you're comfortable, close your eyes. And let your body sink down into the mat. Let the head be heavy, let the weight of the head sink down. Releasing any tension in the scalp. 
Relax the brow. Soften the eyes. Relax the cheeks, the mouth, the tongue. Release the jaw and soften the throat. Let the shoulders be heavy. See if you can let them sink down a little deeper into the mat. The arms are heavy, the elbows soft, the wrists soft, the hands and the fingers relaxed. And let your back sink down. Imagine that the point where your back meets the mat can melt together. Surrender to gravity. Releasing any tension in the lower back, relaxing, opening the hips, the belly soft, the legs are relaxed, heavy, the knees are soft, and soften the area behind the knees, relax the ankles, the feet, and just for now let yourself Completely surrender. Surrender to gravity. Surrender the mind to the infinite, infinite possibilities. Surrender your heart to love. Allow yourself to be held. Allow the life force to move through you. Open to deep healing. When we soften and relax, that innate need and longing for the body to heal itself can become a reality. Keep noticing where you're holding. Soften, release, relax. Begin to notice the movement of the body with the inhale and the exhale. And allow the breath to become a little deeper. Moving and opening the body. 
bring some gentle movement into the fingers, into the toes. And when you're ready, you rotate the wrists one way and then the other way. Rotate the ankles. And lifting the arms up over your head on an inhale, have a lovely stretch right the way through the body. Stretch every fibre. Stretch the left side, stretch the right side. And then bring the hands down, bring the knees in, rock yourself from side to side. And gently begin to rock forwards and backwards along the spine. Come all the way into a seated position. Bringing the hands into prayer at the heart, closing the eyes, relaxing the shoulders. Take a moment to check in with yourself and see the effects of your practice today. We're going to finish with three satnams, taking a deep inhale to chant. Satnam. Satnam. Gently fluttering the eyes open. Satnam. Until next time. <laughs>